Welcome everybody to Savvy Events Corner. I'm Savanya from Savvy Events. Tonight we have an up and coming rapper, Mr. KJ, right out of Baltimore. Can we all welcome Mr. KJ to our show tonight? What's going on? What's going on now? How you doing? How you doing today, Mr. KJ? I'm good. I'm yeah, great. That's good. That's good. So this is my very, very first show. All right. And I want to thank you for being on my show tonight. I'm very honored to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Very thank honored to be here. So um, what we do here, we like to. Um, you know, just sit back and relax and have a good conversation. Right. So I'm going to be asking you some questions, you know, so just feel free to just answer the way you want to. No problem, just, no problem. That's well. No so, problem. Yeah, so how long you been in the rapid um, industry business? Like, how long you been doing that? Well, I'm an independent artist. Uh, I'd say I've been, um, I've been always in music, like, ever since I was, like, small. Okay. But, like, actually getting serious about it. Uh, I'd say a little after high school. Okay. Uh, I was in a group. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, I was in a group, but uh, that kind of fell short, so I've just been going solo ever since. Okay. You know, uh, I've been in for a long time. Uh, that's just something I can't let go, so. So where do you see this taking you in the future? You, you, you have love for what you do, right? Yes, ma'am. Right. So is this something that you want to do for in the future? Like, is that something that you want to do um, for a lifetime, or is it something that you do just because you love it? <laughs> when I was younger, I used to think that. Like, I want, I'm going to do this forever. I'm going to do this forever. Mm -hmm. But now I'm, I'm old now. Like, I'm 35. I don't want to, like, you know... So what, I mean, but what did that mean? You 35? Like, do that kind of have a, a, a age limit on it? Like, no, it don't. Something that you. This is something within me. Like, okay. Um, I'm a single father. I got a little girl. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really, I don't really want to be away from my daughter, like that, like that. If I was to get deep into, you know, like, uh, like right now, I just, I, I, I want to make this. I'm doing a project right now. Okay. And um, right now, I just I just want to see where it takes me. Okay, but the project. Yeah. Tell us yeah. a little bit about the project. Project. Uh, it's basically a, a album of like dopeness. Okay. <laughs> this is just dope music, you know. And I'm not really uh talking about like microwavable. You know, music. Mm -hmm. It's about. I'm all about making timeless music. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that because you know, I feel like your music is, is dope. Yeah, I appreciate it. And that's why I'll be wanting to, to give you that platform to bring it out every time I hear. I appreciate it. Like the last time when you um, let me hear the song. I don't know the name of the song when you had them in your earphones and you wanted Psychic. me to listen to them. Yeah. That was that was dope. I appreciate it. Yes. Yeah. I uh, mean, I feel like you have um, some dope work. And I think that you have a good vibe. I and it's it. like your vibe is a little different than other people that I listen to, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm a rap fan. Everybody know me. They know I'm a rap fan. I love um, rap music. So what's your favorite artist? My favorite artist? Yeah. Who's hey? <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Who's your favorite member? Man. No, <laughs> no, that's my baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, um, it's the RZA and Jizza. Oh, word. Yeah, that's because they're like the masterminds behind the whole thing. Word. You know, me and somebody was having a conversation the other day, and they was, um, I was telling them that even though I'm a fan of Method Man, I know who's the mastermind behind all of it. Yeah. You know, they they spit yeah. dope lyrics. Yeah, Method you know? Man is my favorite. Ghostface, mm -hmm. they're my two favorite. Oh, okay. You know, okay. Um, so talking about that, like, who inspired you, like, to get into rap? Like, man. what did you know? Growing up, what was you listening to? I remember when I was younger, and uh, my older sister, she put me on to like a lot of music uh, growing up. And um, I remember this one music video. Uh, it was a music video, and it was by uh, Tupac. Uh, Brenda's got a baby. Oh yeah. And it was back when like thirty seven. The box, the cable box, yes. the old joint, and um, like I remember, I, I forgot how I was like, what it came out like 92, 93? I think like ninety two. Ninety two. Yeah. 
I seen that, vi- uh, you know how like when you small, you don't really like understand, understand yeah. what, you know, but with that video itself and what he was saying, mm-hmm. like I understood it. And I remember like when I seen it, I didn't want to look at the video again. I was like. Why was that? Because, yo, the mother dropped the baby in the trash. I was like, oh man, like. Yeah. I remember seeing that and I understood what Pac was saying and like, damn, like, and I, I guess that's when, like, subconsciously I knew right then and there, like, how mu- how music is, like, that impactful. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, after, yeah. I, after I seen that, I didn't want to, I didn't want to see that video again for a long time, mm-hmm. for a long time I eventually, you know, looked at it, but Pac, Tupac, he definitely influenced me, uh, uh, but, it's a lot. <laughs> so it's a lot. I know. I know Tupac. Uh, I was. I was. My sister. She put me onto a lot of R&B. Um, I'm just a music head, not just a hip hop head, but a music head. I'm brilliant. But like, yeah. she put me onto a lot of uh, R&B. But like, as I was getting older and start understanding uh, what's going on and like the lyrics and stuff like that, Common, yeah. Nas, mm. uh, Black Thought from the Roots. Oh, oh did you wait a minute? If you hear that, um, what's going on that Black Thought um, did, like a, I think it was like a couple of years ago when he was just flowing. Oh, the, uh, the Funk Master Fx yes, my freestyle, yeah. I used to play that yeah, over man. and over again. Ten, what, like, what, 10 minutes or something? Yes. Yeah, it's, he's, he's a beast. Yeah, he's he a beast is. with it. Yeah. Um, yeah, Black Thought from the Roots, the Roots in general, I, mm-hmm. I like the band. Mm-hmm. Um, Kweli, yeah. Uh, yeah. Most Def, that whole yeah. Black Star movement. Um, of course, Wu Tang. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a lot. Like, I, you know, I hate, I, I'm not hating the greats though. Like Harris One and Public Enemy and. I see now. Back then, like I, <laughs> I couldn't really like you know. I was only back then. I was only like paying attention to the artists that was mm-hmm. like flashed on the videos and on the radio. Right. You know, they wasn't was playing. But like as, as, a, as an adult and a grown man, like. When you listen to music now, do you ever reflect back to like Harris One and Punk? Oh yeah, no doubt. I definitely like yeah. I, yeah. I, I everywhere from like the ones that's, like in the mainstream light and definitely in the underground. I I yeah. take from you know everybody. Uh, right now I'm listening to uh, Big Crit, uh, J Cole, Kendrick, um, Blue. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Big Sean. Yeah, Big Sean. Um, it's a lot. The new Nas album is dope. Yes. Like, that's that's on heavy cool. rotation. Yes, yes. Uh, Jay Electronica. Yes. Jay Z. Wait, let me get I'm going to cut you off for a minute. they not giving him, Jay Electronica, his props. I read an article where people were saying that they waited so long for this to come out and that's all he, he came out with. And I'm like, they must not be listening to this song. This album is dope. It's, a, it's dope, but like, it's not his project. Okay. It's him and Jay Z's project. Right. Yeah, right. even though Jay Z's not really like. Oh, right, because, yeah, he's not really landing like that on there. Yeah. He, he on, on almost every song, though. Yeah, he is, but, <laughs> but his lyrics is not as. It's not it's not fire like, you know, like his is, so. Mm. But know. it's still a dope project. Yeah. Jay Electronics is. is still a dope project. It is. It is. Um, but, like, the ones that really inspired me, though, like like I said, the Nas's, the uh, Commons. Um, Black, like Black Dog from the Roots, Kwali, Snoop, definitely, definitely Snoop. Uh, like his whole, like just yeah. the coolness and yeah. Snoop, uh, T.I., Ludacris, of course, Outkast, definitely. Yeah, I wasn't uh, a big Outkast fan, I ain't gonna lie about that. Really? Yeah, I wasn't. Are you serious? Um, it's hard to oh, I wasn't a big, I wasn't. No, I don't care, not just Andre, but just both of them in general. I, I mean, they like, good. I think it was man. when they started going to a, a different vibe for me. I was just yeah. like, yeah, I'm not feeling that. <laughs> and he was wearing the, the, the tight pants and the funny looking. But he was a dope yeah, artist. But I just, he I was wasn't, dope, though. I tried to get into it. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh no, y'all leaving me here. Like, you gotta look know. past that. You gotta yeah. look past yeah, it. And sometimes you do. Sometimes you do. Because sometimes yeah. I, I listen to music. And um, one thing about me, I listen to music for the beat. Right. The beat catches me. Mm-hmm. And then I start listening to the lyrics. Right. So if the lyrics is tight and the beat is tight, I'm done. And there's some songs and some albums that I can listen to every one. Mm-hmm. You know? And that's how I determine if I'm a buy it or not. Yeah. 
But if I can listen to you about five songs, I, yeah, you got me. That's if it's like one or two, yeah, I'm just going to stream it for you. I'm not going to do all that. <laughs> Check. See, I refuse to be fresh to death walking the strip and her heart of kicks and she ain't. Uh, and I refuse to be feasting while my baby girl with the table with an empty plate. I start to lose weight for her to get a full tummy. You need she need, yeah, she gon' get it from it. Cause I be damned if I let another man raise my child. Ain't no one right. taking my place. Check it out. Listen, I can never look up my seat and live alone outside where it's all cold. Uh, she gon' always have a place. She can see his home even when the trainer was an office. She all wrong with the I'm performing shows, wrecking mics. So pull it over time on my nine to five job. Get the check is light. She gon' always have more than I ever had. Times two when I'm on boot, she'll be for life, uh, yeah, that's my word, uh, that's my word, uh, reason for me breathing to make sure she lives straight before I leave her. I, I'm, if it's dope, I'm gonna listen to it, yeah. if it got like a, a good, uh, you know, message behind it, if I can relate to it, yeah. it doesn't matter, I'm gonna I'm listen to it. Yeah, cause yeah. like country music, it has a, like, they talk about a lot of deep stuff. You know, so I and heard. I think a lot of times people can't get over it because of the the beat behind it or whatever. But country music, they talk they talk some real stuff. Right. Even right, when right. it comes to like rock and Lincoln Park and Limp Bizkit, if you listen to that music and listen to what they're talking about, they was going through stuff, stuff that we go through every day. Right. That's like even with rap and R and B, a lot of times um, it's always a message. You know, so like with me, my music when I'm in a different mood. Mm -hmm. It's different music for that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like for you, what is like when you're in different moods, what is your favorite music to go to? Say listen, say like it's a nice day outside, you know, taking a walk or something like that. Put in some Jill Scott or uh D'Angelo. D'Angelo is like mm -hmm. my favorite R and B artist. He ain't getting some props though. They try to throw my man under the bus. I know, I know, but <laughs> uh, if I'm, um, I'm trying to think of an example, like I don't know, it's just. So if you're like in a bad mood, I mean not like bad, like something, but you know you got up that day and you wasn't really feeling coming to work and all the hustle and bustle of what's going on today, what would you throw on? What would you, you know, what would you stream that day? Tupac. <laughs> Tupac. Uh, nah, it's, they like my go-to's comments. Okay. Um, it's just it's just a variety of things. I can't really like. This is a variety of okay. music. It's just how you feel. Yeah. Whatever you feel on that day. Yeah, that yeah. Okay. Like. It's it's a lot. It's a lot to name. Snoop. Um, like I said not too long ago, the last thing I was really listening to. Heavy was Earth, Wind, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Mm -hmm. Like the grooving, right. it's just a good. It's a, it's a feel good. Like they do, they do. How about like the Commodores? And, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, like now you know who people don't talk about a lot. Stevie Wonder. Oh, a lot of people don't talk about him like that. Man, Ribbon but in the he, sky. Yeah, man. I'm telling you. You That's can play him all day. Yeah, 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 yeah. He got so much music though. Like I know. <laughs> he has so Talk much. Talk about a genius. You know. Yeah, Talk uh, about a genius right there. Stevie Wonder is definitely he's definitely in, in the rotation. Yeah. Um, so look, you, don't, you gonna tell me you don't got your man Mike in there either? Of course. Oh, okay. Michael Jackson? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Michael Jackson. I was just in the Pretty Young Thing. Okay. <laughs> okay <laughs> nah, I'm good. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. All I right, can't. Right. I'm not even going to embarrass myself. <laughs> right, right. But nah, like Michael Jackson, PYT, like, rock with you. All right. <laughs> a long time ago, I used to, I did a freestyle over the rock with you. Uh, the, oh, yeah? Yeah. It's okay. on YouTube. This is. This is real well, old. Have to check that out. <laughs> okay. It's real old, okay. but um, yeah, Michael Jackson, uh, uh, sliding a uh, sliding a family stone. Oh, come on. If you want yeah. me to, like, yeah. that's so, one right there. Tell me, I know the name, but I want to see if you know the name, and I'm just gonna say, tell me a group that an older group that sings the same music but always get like a big turnout and they haven't made music in so long. I'm gonna try. Uh, they didn't make music in a long time? Yeah, they're older group. They haven't made music, but their music is still pumping and they haven't brought out nothing new. They sing their old stuff, they get a big crowd. Who is the man? Older than that. Oh, older than that? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Uh, 
I don't know. Boys the Men's one of them. I mean, I know if every Mother's Day you'll play Hey Mama. Yeah. <laughs> like every, I know, every right? Mother's Day. Right, you know right, right. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You might have to, you might have to catch me on another. I'm going to go there. I'm not drawing right. a blank. I don't know. Okay. It's a lot of music. Like, I consume a lot of music. Right. So right. it's like. You know. So, what's your music? Um, how do you want your music to impact people when they hear it? Something to go to when they're feeling down. Okay. Uh, something to go to when they're happy. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, just timeless music. I, I want. I just like this project I'm working on now. Like I want this. Um, I'm taking my time on it. It's taking a long time to actually put it out, but uh, I'm taking my time on it. Every word, every verse, every beat, you know, I'm just taking my time on it because I want it to be timeless. Okay. You know, I don't, me personally, I don't believe in making a whole bunch of albums after album after album, like oversaturating myself. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I want to make this project and just let it, let everybody live with it for a long time. Okay. Right. You know, um, just live with it, you know, get something out of it, you know. Um, I can't wait. <laughs> like, I can't wait to put it out. Uh, I can't wait to hear it. Yeah. Right. Um, so you like the Khalif of uh, rap, because you know, she wasn't, <laughs> no really, she, she was into her music, but she was more into what she does now. And she wanted to be like that. She wanted to just make music and put it out and let people marinate on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you know? word. And like, that's one of the reasons why she left, because she felt like it was too much pressure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's the, we, hip hop is the only genre where it's like that, it's so much pressure. Like you put a project, and then like a week after, it's like, okay, where's the next one? Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I mean by. That's why I kind of admire, I guess, the rock and roll mm -hmm. genre, because, mm -hmm. like, say like, uh, you two. Uh huh. They can still tour off they like first album. Right. They don't have to keep putting out album oh, after album, and hip hop should be like that as well. Right. Like. Hip hop is the only genre where as though it's like, what have you done for me lately? Right, but why do you think that though? Why? I don't know when it. I don't know when it like started. I don't know. Uh, maybe the business side of it. Okay. You know, it's in high demand, and you know, hip hop is the number one genre that's sought out. You know. Um, Hip hop is is a tool. Like hip hop is very influential. Mm -hmm. It's it really like you know sends that message. And um, I don't know when it started. I don't know when it started to where as though I mean you don't have to. I believe you don't have to do it. You don't have to keep oversaturating. You don't have to keep putting out. Right. Uh, just let the people live. Let the people like you know live with what you you know created. Um, I don't know. Like with this project, I'm a, after the, after it comes out, I'm a chill. I have other ideas for you know another project, but like after this one project, I'm gonna just chill and um, be a father. Okay, and yeah. let's speak about that a little bit, just a little bit. So you said earlier you um you introduced yourself with having a a daughter, mm -hmm. you're a single um dad. Mm -hmm. You know how is that? You know, especially in this time and the things that you're trying to do with your life, so. It's hard as hell. <laughs> it's hard as hell. Like, you're just plain and simple. So yeah, it's like, hard as hell. I got a girl, a oh, little girl. Yes. You know oh, what I wow. mean? Like, I have a little girl. I mean, I have, like, some help, but it's not as consistent, is it? You know? But um, it's hard. And, like, me being the father, the, the father role is being you know, the, the, like the stern, the protective, the provider, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I kind of worry because, like, like I don't lie to my daughter. Okay. I tell the truth to my daughter. And I don't want my daughter to grow up to be, uh, like, kind of cold, mm -hmm. you know, in that sense. So um, I try to, like, kind of balance it as being, like, I, I, the, I'm not the mother, but you got to be the mother and the father. Oh, but, um it's, it's hard. Like it's really hard. And she's seven years old now. She's asking a lot of questions. I'm afraid actually that she asked a lot of questions. Yeah, she's asking a lot of questions. You know, 
I mean, a lot of questions. So like, who do you turn to when she asks them questions? Like the questions that you can't answer? Well, being the creative that I am, okay, okay. <laughs> I kind of can word it, okay. you know, I can, I can, I can, I can, yeah, I can word it, you know, in a, in a good way. But at the same time, I'm not going to lie to my daughter. Right. That's one thing, you know, I'm so not going to lie to my daughter. So what's the conversation you had to have with your daughter? Uh, you know, because sometimes seven-year-olds can ask questions. The toughest question. The toughest question. She came to me and was like, well, Daddy, I heard this at school, or... Daddy, I saw this on TV, or I heard someone say, so what do this mean, or why is this like this? Believe it or not, I didn't get that yet. Okay. I didn't get it yet. I guess it was, because she, my daughter, she been here before. Okay. <laughs> she, she's, she's, yeah, she been here before. She's, she's really smart. Okay. She's really, she's aware, you know, um, I, had, I, I didn't get that question yet. And that had me like stumped. Okay. Like that had me like, oh snap, I don't. I'm just letting you know, be prepared. I know. <laughs> if, you, if she's like, what she say, oh, be prepared. Yeah, I know. The older know. she get, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. I, like I said, I'm not, you know, the whole, uh, say for instance, the whole Santa situation, the mm -hmm. Christmas oh, thing. Okay. Like she's well aware of that too. Like, okay. you know. Yeah. So she, she know you buy her toys? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm just <laughs> yeah. You know, right. I, I grew up. I'm not that giving. I'm not giving credit. Somebody was bringing, and then when I saw the toys in the closet, and I'm, I mean, I was, I was shocked. Uh -huh. My heart uh -huh. was broken. I ain't giving credit to nobody else. Like I worked hard. <laughs> and I understand hard, that. And yeah, she yeah. knows that. And she yeah. knows I work. She's, she, she, she been here before. She, okay. you know, she saved my life. Oh, I, wow. I, I put it like that. She saved my life. Oh wow. That's a beautiful yeah. thing right there. Yeah. That's so, a beautiful thing. I love her. Yeah. I love her to death. Oh. But um So we don't want to get too emotional. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool. But well, I wanna ask you about your opinion and how you feel about um females in the rap industry these days. Oh, like, what is your out? Sure, that's dope. Them? They got a voice too. Okay. Sure, they got something to say. Hey, I ain't you know, go ahead and say it. Okay. It shouldn't be, I believe they shouldn't be just categorized as female rappers. They rappers too. Oh, okay. You know, do your thing. My, my, my favorite one out there, Rhapsody. And she don't get her props. I mean, maybe she do, but like, what about into Lady her. Luck? Oh, wow. That's, ooh, you're talking way back. Yeah. <laughs> Lady Luck. Props. Yeah. No, she don't. And yeah. she, 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 but she got like kind of stomped by Remy Ma. I know. I know. <laughs> so I, yeah, I guess I, that's I, what happened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. that's what happened. Dust herself off. Yeah. Come back. Like, come on. That's that's yeah. what happened. So, uh, yeah, Lady Luck. No, I, I, man, Queen Latifah, MC Light. Uh, shoot. Uh, oh man, I remember one um, Queen Pen. Yes. Uh, oh Lord, yeah, you bring him in. Rod back. Digger. Yeah. She you dope. Bring him back. <laughs> <laughs> Rod Digger, of course, Long Hill, of mm -hmm. course. Um, but I mean, they got something to say. Even the, the Megans and the Cardis, and the, they got something to say. Go home, say it. I ain't got no. Right. I ain't got no issue with them. So, because you have a daughter, would you allow her to listen to the songs that like? Um, no. Make, make, okay. <laughs> no. Yeah, okay. No, not now. No, I, I'm that type person. Okay. I, I'm that. I'm that type parent. Right. Like I'm. I'm well aware of what my daughter looks at, mm -hmm. cartoon wise, music, anything. Sometimes I don't even let her hear what I got. But my music, you know, is not as uh, I guess vulgar or right. you know I'm not cursing every right. every right. line or nothing like that. So. So can you? I be cussing now. Well, I'd be cussing. Right, right. You're doing the cursing. You're cursing. That's a different thing, though. That's a different thing. But, like, no, I, I'm well, I, I stay aware of uh, what my daughter receives. Right. You know, she's a sponge right now, oh, so I gotta, be, I gotta be aware yes. of what's around it. Exactly. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people are like, oh, you too, you too stern, you too, uh, you too strict. I don't care. Yeah. I was told I that. Care. I was told that I have three girls, and I was told that I was very strict. And my children, when they get older, they're going to be wild and mm -hmm. having babies because they were so. And I. No, you stick, you stick them, to doing what you do. Yeah, all of them trying to build businesses, going mm -hmm. to school. And um, yeah, one day I want them to have children. Mm -hmm. 
but right now they they realize that they don't need to have children right now right. you know because they're trying to build something mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and you know not to say nothing negative to the person that said that to me but the person that was like my daughter's gonna have all these babies her daughter have all these babies you know right. and it was like but as a parent um in society today and bringing them up you have to be very aware of what they're doing yeah, of course even when it comes down to the music that they listen to like i said i'm, I'm a hip-hop freak and but i would go when i found out they were doing music in the library i was like oh so we can get clean versions of stuff now <laughs> yeah you know so yeah. When they were in the car, then I couldn't play my music because I'm like, yeah, they're going to be like, what in the world? But then when I noticed that they had the clean versions, and the, I was like, you okay, can we, we can listen to this, mm -hmm. and whatever, whatever. And my um, my youngest daughter, she, because of me and me, me loving Wu-Tang, now she listens to everything Wu-Tang, you That's know? That's what's up. You That's know, so up. I was shocked that she liked Michael Jackson because when he passed, she was like, I mean, oh, Michael So we all running out, and then I had to think, like, girl, he be, what? he be on your time. But she was like, ma. <laughs> I know Mike, we down, you mm -hmm, know, so, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so yeah, you I'm have to be, yeah, have to be very um, careful what you um, let your children receive, because like mm -hmm. you said, they, they're sponges. Yes, and uh, no knock to them, no knock to what they do, they're adults, they can say whatever they want, but I, that's my child. Right, exactly. So I have to, you know, be the protector, mm -hmm. which, you know, that naturally comes with, you know, being a father. Right. And I got to be the protector. Right. You know. So you, you made it um, very clear that um, with your music, um, you wanted you wanted to touch people, but this is not something that you're trying to build a career off. Is what I'm saying. Is um, that correct or? At, at this point in my life, I just want to see where it takes me. Okay. Cause okay. like, like I said, I'm more so like. I don't want. I don't want to be away from my daughter. I'm. I'm worried. I don't. I don't want to be too much away from yeah. my daughter. Um, music is still a passionate thing t to me. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's the way I communicate most okay. of the time. Uh, I just want to see where it takes me. Uh, God willing, you know. Like like I said, with this project, just want to put it out, let it live. We can't really. Do much now, yeah. due to the you know right. certain circumstances. You know this pro the project would have been out, right. but like I said, due due to the whole COVID, right. um, you got pushed back. So that gives me more time to work on this some more. So is there anybody in Baltimore, um, DC that you want to work with, like do a project with? Man, any local um, um, artists? Right now, I'm just like kind of focused on getting my feet wet first okay. before I, you know, uh, even think about working with anybody else. I want to put my stuff out there to make people like make the uh, make the people out there want to like, oh, ooh, this person, I want to work with him. You but know? I, you know, I think like um, if you perform more, you are gonna get that because I'm telling you. What... And that was in the plan, but like yeah. I said, due to this old COVID. Yeah. It kind of pushed everything back, but. So um, I heard through the grapevine that you perform in <laughs> October the 10th. Yeah, So we're yeah. going to be able to get blessed with some of that um, yes, music? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, it's going to be off the project, something exclusive. Um, yeah, and I ain't going to say too much on it. Okay, okay. I ain't going <laughs> to pull it out. I ain't pull it out. <laughs> so, like, can you just let everybody know where they can find you, like your social media, how they can stream your music? Uh, Instagram, Twitter, Thebro KJ, T H E E R E A L K J. Um, that's for Twitter and Instagram. Uh, I have a single out. Okay. I have a single out, and it's called Psychic. It's on Spotify, Title, um, Apple Music, wherever you listen to, listen to music on, it's on there. Um, yeah, and that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. The industry, the business part, mm -hmm. how, I mean, what is your, um, what is your thoughts on that? Like how? You got, you got to learn it. Okay. I'm so much of an artist, but I, I, I got to the point where you got to learn the business side as well. Right, exactly. You know, um, I'm not... Excuse me. I'm not one to. Uh, I'm not eager to get a record deal, like a major record deal, like in the industry. I'm. I'm going to stay in the independent route. Okay. 
Right. You know, yeah, it's a lot of work put in, but it's all worth it. Okay. You know, um, but I'm learning. Like I said, I'm learning as I go the business side of things. Uh, you know, learn to read everything before you sign everything and stuff like that. Exactly. You know, um, you just gotta you just gotta be well aware. Right. Just gotta be well aware of the business. Um, Cause that's exactly what it is. It's a business. How do you feel about um, Baltimore and DC not getting the just due that they, you know, far as entertainment? It's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> it's not fair. Like Baltimore has so much talent. Yes, I've been saying that. You for know what I mean? Time. So much. I mean, shout out to like people like Ill Conscious, um, yeah. Nod the Champ. Uh, a lot of it's a lot of dope. New Day. Uh, it's a lot of like underground artists, a lot of artists in general out of Baltimore that's just dope. Okay. Dope as hell. Um, it's not fair. But I don't, I don't know. We, we got to like kick the door in. Right. I was going to say, what you think we should do? Yeah, kick you the door in. You know? Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to contribute. Good. You know, Good. I'm going to contribute to knocking that door down and like, look, we here. Mm -hmm. You know, this is this is you know, this is where it's at. Yeah. I was having a conversation with someone um, about that yesterday about how I feel like Baltimore and D.C., even Virginia, we don't get the uh, recognition, mm -hmm. and I think that we have to speak loudly about it mm -hmm. and get it out there, whether it's um, rap or whether you're a singer, whether you're an actor, or whether you know, you, you're someone that's um, having entertainment business. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to be the ones that show these other cities that we are here yeah. and we should be on the map. We're yeah. not just about the wire and all them kind of things that make us look bad, right. you know. Right. And even as um, a person that's living in the city um, and living in Baltimore, like how do you feel when you hear that stigma on our city? Because, you know, we live here and we see it. And mm -hmm. If I go somewhere, I hear people say, oh, you from the city, from The Wire? And I'm like, but we're so much more than that. Yeah, exactly what you said. We're much more than that. And I feel as though it's, it's just not right. Um, but all it takes, we, we, we have to just kick the door down. Okay. You know, we got to make that noise. And in due time, we'll get the respect that we deserve. Okay. You know, um, I'm just, me, I'm just, I'm just going to do my part. Okay. You know, and contribute. So if you do get that record deal one day, <laughs> so I get my first signed copy, oh, well. I'm going to give you my information so you can send it to me. <laughs> but if you, now we not even going to say if you, because you, you are, but when a moment comes and you had anybody that you wanted to collab, who would it be? Female or male? It could be R&B, it could be another rap, it can even be country, whatever. Who would you want to work with? D'Angelo. Okay. D'Angelo, um, Nas, Common, mm -hmm. um, uh, Stevie Wonder. Mm -hmm. um, you gotta hurry up on Stevie, you know Stevie get old. <laughs> <laughs> we still, he's still kicking though. He was on, the, he was on Big Sean Project. Um, yeah, I mean, Nas, D'Angelo, that, that's about it. Okay. I, 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 that would be like, I'd be stoked if i just be able to work with them, okay. you know. Um, Knife Wonder, that's, oh. that's like one of my favorite producers yeah. of all time, okay. Knife Wonder. Um, man, uh, Pharrell. Okay. You know. Mm -hmm. Timberland. Well, right. Yeah, he, he's dope. People don't, don't yeah. see him for what he is. Yeah. yeah. Apollo Brown, uh, DJ Premier, mm -hmm. um, Pete Rock. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'll be rocking um, his stuff yeah, still. You know, as far as like making a, a like a rapper producer right, type but, of, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Even if Big, Big L was still alive. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. As far as, like, you know, the ones that's gone, like, man, if Pac was still here, yeah. I definitely want to work with Pac. Uh, uh, man, what was 
just gone. No biggie. Uh. <laughs> um, I'm I'm not, I'm cool on big. I'm cool on big. No no knock to him, but like I just speaking on that, I just never knew why they kept putting Pac and Biggie in the same. Pac, I mean, Big was dope. He was a dope, he dope rapper. Yeah. But Pac was on another level. level. Yeah. Like he yeah. was on some revolutionary mm-hmm. type of, you know, he was about really all about. Right. But it was his upbringing. Yeah, that too. You know, you had to when you look at his history and how he was brought up. Yeah. You're gonna have to bring that out. Yeah. You know. Definitely. Yeah. So like. He was just on another. That's why I, when he put the Brenda's got a baby and you know the keep your head ups and yeah. the, he was all about like uplifting and, and you know enlightening. Right. You know, um, Big was he's dope. I don't yeah. Big is a dope rapper, yeah. but you know, I was just on the box side. <laughs> well, me and my friend used to have a conversation about um, that, and she would be like, "She's a Tupac fan." Mm-hmm. And I, I love Tupac, but I'm a fan of Wu Tang. So okay. you know, she'd be like, "Well, if it's um, compared to," Wu, and I'm like, "But you gotta realize Wu got jewels. I'm not saying mm-hmm. that Pac don't, mm-hmm. but Wu have jewels, and a lot of people in that camp drops a lot of them. Mm-hmm. Like the knowledge is just phenomenal. Yeah, Wu Tang for the kids. Yeah, yeah it's like <laughs> phenomenal. You know, and then. Um, Nas, he started getting a little knowledgeable in there, so he started dropping some stuff. And, you know, I always listen to him, so, you know, that's one of my second favorites. Yeah. You know, I always like, um, because I grew up on a lot of rap that had a lot of messages in it, Mm -hmm. you know. So, um, when I started listening to this music, it was kind of hard, because it's like, what are y'all talking about? Where y'all trying to go with that? Mm -hmm. You know, and then when my children got older, I'm like, okay, I see where they're trying to go, but it's still, um... It's not reaching anybody, right. and it and, and it no. Let me correct that. It is, but it's reaching them in a negative way. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times we did have um, the two live crew and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, we had certain um, rappers that sung certain songs, but a lot of them that I um, listened to, they had a lot of um, messages in them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know, so even like um, Tribe Called Quest. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah, know. Yeah. Can I kick it? Right. <laughs> you know, what's the one, the, um, the young, what is the group where um, the one that um, died of um, diabetes? They came, they was like, um, they came out the same time that Trial Club Quest did. I don't know. Are you sure? Are you mistaken that with Fife? No. Because Fife didn't, he didn't. Yeah, he did die. Yeah. Me. Yeah, no, but not him. It was another group I'm thinking about. I'm not sure. I can't think of the name of it. But them kind of groups was the ones that, like, I used to listen to, mm-hmm. you know. And then I started listening to a little, like, a little, as they call it, um, hardcore rap or mm-hmm. whatever, you know, but. The ice Cubes and. The, yes. And like, the, and, I, yeah. and I love Ice Cube. Yeah, yeah, I like, yeah. I love dope. Ice Cube. Shout out to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. N.W.A. Yes, yes. Yeah, definitely. And what was the one that came, and, and I should know because I used to play this song to death. My brother was like, if you play this song one more time. He came from um, N.W.A., but he went on his own, and he got into a car accident and messed up his voice. Oh, D.O.C. Yeah, loved him. Mm-hmm. Loved him. D.O.C. Loved him. Mm-hmm. You know, so, but I don't want to, you know, we, we could talk all night. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that I can like talk to you about. There's some stuff that you told me I had to not say. You know, sorry, ladies, you know, you told me not to say it. But anyway, um, I just want to thank you for coming on today. Mm-hmm. You know, you, like I said, you was my very first guest. Appreciate this is my very first show. So thank everybody for being patient with me today. So once again, just let everybody know where they can find you at. Twitter, Instagram, the real KJ. T H E E R E A L K J. Uh, like I said, I have a single called Psychic. So on Spotify, Title, Apple Music, uh, Deezer, whatever you listen to your music at, it's on there. Go to this tour, check it out, tell me what you think, and uh, look out for some more music. Okay. And do you have any up and coming projects that you want to put out there as far as where you can be seen at, where you're going to be rapping live at. You know, you're out there. <laughs> I will be performing at the uh, Turner Auditorium. Yeah, Turner Auditorium. Turner Auditorium on uh, October 10th. Uh, what's that? Uh, 8 to 8 to 10. 8 to 10. Yeah. And uh, 
yeah, I'll be I'll be on stage and I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all some give y'all some y'all y'all will enjoy. Right. So yeah. thank you everybody for joining me. Don't forget I'm Samaya from Savvy Events. You can find me. My IG is Savvy Events 1987. On Facebook is Savvy Events or Savannah McIntosh. Once again, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Thank you.